Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com and our series on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the browser and some miscellaneous power user tips. Now, as you can see, the browser by default is already included in our dock. However, we can also pin any application that we want to our, one of our home screens. I'll show you how to do that. In this case, we're going to be talking about the browser, so we'll bring that, uh, bring that forward. So all we need to do is enter into applications, tap and hold on the application we want to bring forward. We can either drop the application here, or we can tap it, hold it again, drag it off to the right-hand side, or back to the left to drop it onto a new home screen. Any application that we don't want to have on our home screen, we just do basically the reverse process, tap and hold. You can see the applications menu has turned into a trash icon. Drag it down there till that turns red and drop it. Now let's enter into the browser. So there are several ways we can enter a URL. We can either tap and enter by text, or we can tap on the speak icon here, the little microphone, and we can actually speak the URL that we want to go to. www.butterscotch.com So now you can see we've done a search for butterscotch.com. We can enter into any of the uh, sections of butterscotch.com here. At any time, we can tap the back button here to go back. And we can also tap this button, which will allow us to enter into tabs mode. So if we wanted to keep the search result for butterscotch.com open, just tap on the plus symbol here. And now we have a, a, new, um, a new web browser page to work with. Now you can see here some of our recent searches, uh, anything we've entered into the uh, URL field. We access that just by tapping in the URL field. We can also add a site to our favorites list. Let's go back to our tabs here. Select Butterscotch. And we'll enter into the site. Now because we really like this site, for obvious reasons, we can tap on our favorites button here. Now we can add this as a new bookmark. We can change the name of our bookmark. In this case, we'll just, uh, we're, we're happy with the uh, page title there. And we can also see our most visited websites and also our recent browsing history. At any time, we can also clear our history by tapping that button. Within the browser, we can also hit the settings button down here. We can change the screen brightness and several other settings. One interesting one is that we can actually find on page, which is something that, uh, that several other tablets that are out in the market can actually do. We can also see any files that we've downloaded by tapping on Download Manager here. And we can also visit the file uh, on our device by tapping Go to My Files. So we'll go back to the home screen. Now let's take a quick look at changing the wallpaper and adding widgets. So whichever home screen we're on, say we want to add a widget to our third home screen, all we do is tap and hold. And now we get this Add to Home Screen option. So in this case, we're going to add a widget. So we just tap on Widgets. Now, several of these widgets are actually available as soon as you get your Samsung Galaxy Tab. Several of them become, a, become available after you've installed a few applications. For example, we installed Tweedroid Tweed from the Android Marketplace, and now it's available as a widget, and we can select either a large or a small or a regular size Tweedroid Tweed widget. So to add the widget, let's say we're going to add, uh, let's see, YouTube. We'll add YouTube. Now the widget will actually appear on our home screen. At any time, we can also delete a widget the same way we delete an application shortcut. Press and hold. This becomes a trash icon. Drag it down there to remove. Now, as it's running uh, Android 2.2, we can also change uh, wallpapers and actually use live wallpapers. So tap into wallpapers here. Select live wallpapers. And now we have a series of options that are uh, unique to Android 2.1 and later devices. And these are actually live wallpapers that, uh, that have motion associated with them. So if we choose the grass one here, see a bit of a preview of what it's going to look like. Choose to set the wallpaper. And we can see we get a slightly different view on that wallpaper, depending which screen we want. So let's change this wallpaper back to the standard. This is actually the wallpaper that comes uh, when you first get your Samsung Galaxy Tab out of the box. And one final tip, we will show you how to add a shortcut, your own uh, specific shortcut to the Android menu screen, the home screen. So same function, press and hold. In this case, we're going to select shortcuts. 
Now we can choose to make a shortcut to several things. We can make, uh, say, our most, our most called or texted contact. We can put them front and center. We can choose um, a directions option. We can choose a Gmail label. So for example, um, a work Gmail label, we can tap on that and be taken straight to that option right within our Gmail account. In this case, we'll choose to add a contact. And we'll add Aaron. So at any time, we can tap on that and either email or SMS Aaron. So that's a quick look at the browser and a few power user tips for your Samsung Galaxy Tab. Be sure to check out other episodes in this series for more detail on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. For How Do I on Butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin.